Hello guys and welcome to Back to Glory here with Liverpool. I'm sorry if you can maybe hear a slight whirring or stuff. You can imagine there's like fans going. Um, yeah, it's really, really hot in the UK at the moment sort of thing. So I'm sweating like mad trying to get this video out. It's not it's not very um, comfortable for me normally anyway. And this is like, you know, not making things any easier. But, you know, hey, yeah, let's get this done. Like, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, we've got to get these two final games of the Premier League season done. As you can see, just off here in the top um, right hand corner I'll actually like you know make it a little bit bigger obviously like this yes we beat Newcastle five goals or two we had this game like you know kind of like wrapped up um, realistically and then um, just conceding a couple of like you know poor goals really in this one but it was it was it was a bit of a, a, an easy stroll this one no problem whatsoever really against um, Newcastle the, the big one is going to be obviously the one just about to come up which is obviously the Merseyside derby against Everton it's at Anfield Everton will so so much want to like stop us from becoming invincible. In, 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 That's not even a word. Invincibles, yes. Um, number two, obviously Arsenal did it. Um, can we now do it? Like in our very first season, we didn't. Uh, yeah, last episode wasn't good. We we obviously got knocked out of the Champions League, which was like you know a big, a big blow. Um, but um, we'll we'll, we'll fight back um, in that one um, for next season, right? Let's do it then. Let's take on Everton. And um, we don't want to, like, you know, obviously, you know, miss out Brighton here. I mean, Brighton have had a fairly decent season. So we can't, like, just like just think, oh, Brighton's easy. No, I don't think it's going to be, like, you know, but we've got to get past Everton first. Let's see what we do. So here are the two lineups here at Anfield. We've got Allison in goal. We've got Reese James, Gomez, Felipe, and Andy Robertson as the back four. Fabinho and Henderson. Henderson with the captain's armband in that middle. Naby Kago is going to play in this cam roll. Manny out on the left. Anthony out on this right and then Bobby's going to lead the line for us as for Everton we've got Jordan Pickford obviously in goal there for them we've got it with the captain's armband um, Holgate I'm just trying to see um, players that maybe wouldn't recognise obviously Denier's there Gbabin, oh Wilfred Saha uh, Wobie's on that side um, looking on the bench Taliska on the bench bit of a shock that he's on the bench and obviously Calvert-Lewin they're going to play with Danny Loder up top instead like, you know, but they're playing very defensive as you can see Two two banks of four with Kabam in um, in that middle, um, obviously like, trying to like you know like, stop us getting through. So you can see what their like mentality is going into this one. But here we go. So here we are, Anfield. Yeah, not too far for the Evertonians to travel across Stanley Park, and um, let's see if um, we can like get another. Um, uh, win or, or a draw like we just don't want to get a defeat that's all We've got a chance here with Anthony with free kick puts this one in and there is a great start Naby Keita getting his seventh of the season one of the smallest players on the pitch so it's like it's, it's, it's a bit rare that he gets a headed goal but it was a lovely ball in from Anthony as you can see like just curls it in like superbly and um, yeah um, Naby Keita just getting ahead of Digne there so Bobby Firmino picked up a, an injury. Um, looks like um, he's got a damaged foot, so we'll, we'll make a change. Straight swap. Latoura Martinez is going to come in off that bench um, to, to obviously he can replace Bobby. Now we'll chance to the corner as Naby Keita is going to be maybe a provider this time. Joe Gomez going for maybe double figures this season. Just hits the bar. So we come into half time. Everton yet to even have a shot at goal. So, like, but I say, the way that they were set up, their formation was just literally to just try and defend and get something from this. And they weren't like looking to really attack, were they? So maybe that's like you know why they've not even had a single shot. As you can see, we've had five on target from the thirteen that we've had. One has obviously hit the back of the net. It would be nice if we could get a few more here. I'm not happy with just only one goal. I think we dominated that first half. We need to do a little bit better in this second. So a chance maybe for Everton to get an equaliser as Holgate has got there, has managed to be pushed onto the post from Allison. So yeah, like only having this one goal is not not brilliant at all. So Latoro, like Martinez, obviously has come on, but he's not really done anything. He's not having the best of games. Sadio Mane is not playing particularly well, and um, so I'm going to bring Marco Asensio on on that side. So Gomez there being talked to. Naby Keita has now picked up a knock, so we'll probably like you know change him. Just going to do it after this. Is it a corner? It is a corner. 
Marco Asensio is over this one. Can we get another one here? Joe Gomez hits the bar again. That's twice in this game. We should be leading by three goals to nil. So Thiago Almada will come on in that cam roll. Um, uh, enforced, like, you know, a couple of late, like, obviously, injuries that have had to enforce some of these substitutions. Um, but it's still only one nil with just, just over, like, sort of, like, you know, seven minutes or so to go. So here we are into injury time. Andy Robertson, so at least we got it down this end of the field. Andy Robertson now trying to play this inside. Finds Asensio, like being forced back here. And here's a chance now for Calvert Lewin to like maybe get Everton's equaliser. And I've got a feeling that that's what possibly could happen here. Like I say, we're into injury time. Everton keeping hold of the ball. They're going back to Pickford. I thought he might have gone long with it. He hasn't. Everton are just keeping hold of the ball right now. They've got to like try and score. Um, so I'm not sure what they're trying to do. Maybe just pull us out of position. And they've done that with Mura now coming in behind Calvert Lewin obviously in the box Mira puts it across it's got blocked initially Calvert Lewin's there and they do pick up that equaliser um it's not it's 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 not good that we've even like you know conceded that we should have like had this game sewn up um and maybe a little bit of pressure has got to us at the end of the day it's it's not a defeat you know and that's the main thing um but it's just it's just poor from us I don't even know who is that there uh is that Fabinho it is Fabinho just and it's back to everything. We still actually got like a chance here. As I'm, um, I'm a bit worried that like you know Everton are going to win this ball off us. Oh, but Fabinho's got taken out there by Sigurdsson, and I think that's him gone. Yeah, it's, that's his second, or is that just? Yeah, it's his second yellow card. He's off in what 30 seconds left of this game. Can we now like just play this one nicely into the box? Asensio, maybe Joe Gomez got on the end of this one, and it's just a poor, poor attempt at anything there. But surely that is the final whistle as the referee is checking his watch. So I'm not entirely sure what's happened. The, the, the game's frozen or something, but Pickford's cleared. Oh, surely the referee's going to blow, and there it is. But <sighs> just poor from us, really. Really, really poor, as you can see, Everton with all the bookings and stuff. They were just battling away. They've got what they wanted. They wanted a point, you know, and that's what they basically came for. And it's just poor from us, really. And um, we've got to, like, do better against Brighton um, if we want to, like, you know, keep this unbeaten run. It is unbeaten still, but it's just it's just a poor game against, like, you know, our rivals. So, as you can see, I was just, I wasn't happy with them. So, I, like, basically just gave them a, a serious talking to um, here, like, you know what I mean? as you can see um, um, by like you know the, the message here coming through in the email like you know what I mean that I'm basically just telling the players that yeah I was not happy with that performance at all um, Bobby Firmino that's him done he's out for two to three weeks and Naby Keita he's pretty much done probably as well he's out for four to seven days so um, yeah that's a bit poor really that we've like managed to lose two players as well um, probably uh, could have been that's probably going to be Bobby Firmino's maybe last game for us I'm like he's 31 years of age now I'm looking to like maybe like obviously bring Mbappe in um, so looking at maybe like moving him on same goes maybe for Sadio Mane as well and maybe I don't know we'll look at some other players like it's a possibility just have a shake up for next season so guys here we are yeah final game of the Premier League season final game of our season because unfortunately yeah we're not in the Champions League or the FA Cup final at all but as you can see these are the final fixtures the relegation teams that that's already been decided now it's really just like the top you know top four of like thing and also for us can we finish this final game against brighton at the amex can we get a draw or a win and be um obviously the next um invincibles to go the whole premier league season without a defeat um sod's law is we'll lose this one <laughs> that's just how it's going to go like you know i mean but as you can see from um some of these um, ties here we've got man city and tottenham obviously they're trying to man city trying to vie for that um second spot runners up spot along with obviously arsenal there who are at home against it in bournemouth we know that that's um, a result and um, we'll just show, show you the, the actual premier league table so as you can see yeah um it's it's, it's all about this fourth spot um, tottenham obviously if they can beat manchester city they'll jump obviously man, man united well depending obviously if Man United lose or not that's the other thing um, Everton possibly could just miss out on a European spot there if West Ham win and um, yeah it could go down to goal difference on that one um, but we'll see on that but like I say Burnley, Fulham and Bristol City they're all gone um, it's a shame to see obviously Burnley dropping out of the um, Premier League it's um, yeah they've been one of those teams that have been around for, for quite a while that they don't really they just, they're just like an annoying little sort of mid-table team but this time it, it, I think with Sean Dyche moving on and going to become England boss um, it was who's in charge for now 
Fernando Santos, the Portuguese manager, just wasn't able to keep Burnley in the top flight. And I don't think they'll be probably coming back, you know, I mean, with just the budget that they have and stuff like that. But anyway, like I say, Brighton is the game for us. Here we go. So here then are the two lineups. Even though Brighton are at home, they've got those two banks of four that we've got to try and like get through, like, you know, I mean, to get to obviously like their goal. We are going to, I'm going to play Nick Pope. Yeah. Um, I know we're trying to like obviously go for a win or a draw, but hey, you know, he's a, he's a reliable goalkeeper. He's, he's been great for us, like, you know, and obviously with there's not been any of the domestic, you know, cups and stuff, you know, I just thought I'd give him like, you know, a run out here in the Premier League. We've got Reese James, Gomez, Felipe and, and Andy Robertson as a back four. Henderson and Fabinho are going to sit in that midfield. Field. Almada is going to be in the cam. Asensio is out on the left with Leon Bailey out on the right, and then Latoro Martinez is going to lead the line for us. Hopefully, fingers crossed with that attacking like you know lineup that we've got, we should get the results here that we need. So here we chance um, early on with Bailey putting that one into the box, but doesn't really come to anything um, from that corner. But Reese James has picked this one up just before it got to the halfway line. He's, he's come in here and he's gone for it, and it looks like it could go up for another corner. No, Bailey's kept that one in, tries to get it back in, but. Um, is blocked by two of the defenders so it will be another chance here from a corner can Bailey do a little bit better with the delivery from this one trying to obviously maybe get towards like Joe Gomez but it's Dunk that gets it away now another corner as Bailey puts this one in this time looking for maybe a chance and there's actually someone I think it's Asensio that's gone down Lewis Dunk there it looks like he was holding on to him and we have a chance here from the penalty spot to give us the lead so it will be Latoro Martinez stepping up and saved. Wow, okay. Um, it's not to be just yet. They're going to make things difficult for us, aren't they? So we've got another chance here. Bailey now, um, I think it's about third or fourth corner of the game so far. He puts this one in, but it's just he's just not getting that delivery. Maybe, um, yeah, um, obviously not had that much game time this season with his injuries and stuff. Andy Robertson now on this near side. Fillets it here to Anderson. Back to Felipe. Fabinho now cuts it inside. Almada now got an opportunity, runs at the defence and tries for the low drive. But as you can see, Liverpool at the moment, the players just not on it. They're not sharp enough. They're maybe towering towards the end of the season. I don't know, but they just maybe just need that bit of impetus to like, you know, um, get them across the line here, but there's a chance maybe for Andy Robertson now as he gets into the box. And what a save! <laughs> Santos in goal is determined um, for us not to get this um, this Invincibles title, are they? As Bailey now, can he get a better delivery? This time it's a little bit better, but we still haven't managed to get anything. Reese James picks this one up, plays it across to Fabinho. He's got Bailey there still on that like um, right hand side. Can he like pull it back? He can. Fabinho inside. Almada backs to Joe Gomez. Gomez now inside. Asensio. Looking to like maybe spread this one out. Reese James actually stayed on that left hand side, but the highlight ended. Um, as Latoro now picks this ball up, he's looking for maybe some options, but he's going himself. He didn't really have that many options. Maybe he can do something now as Asensio hits the foot of the post. Come on, guys. This is poor. We are playing really, really poor right now. Another chance here for Bailey. Puts this one in. And I think we're going to have to change the um, free kick, not free kick, the corner taker, because Bailey just isn't finding Joe Gomez, is he? That um, we normally do as Asensio now looks to maybe get this one in, but no, we just look tired. That's the thing is we're just looking very tired. It's we've had enough attempts there. Brighton, like I say, they had two banks of four, weren't really looking to trouble us, and it's like very much like the Everton game all over again. So I have taken Leon Bailey off those corners, and hopefully we'll get some corners in the second half. So we're going to make two changes. The two guys up front, Leon Bailey and, and Martinez, just not playing very well at all. As you can see over here, like you know, I mean, regarding like you know their their like scores from that f uh, first half again. Um, Asensio not having the best of games but I just thought if I change things around put Marnie up top because obviously we haven't got Bobby Firmino to bring on and then Anthony is going to come on that right hand side and see if the young Brazilian um, can like inspire this side because right now um, we are just playing really really poor so we've got a chance here is Almada over this free kick sticks this one into the box but again our delivery's not been good in this game at all and there's a chance here for Brighton to spoil the party um, but uh, Fabinho has gone in and I think the referee is going to give a free kick no he's not it's actually like you know continue play and there's a bit of a mix up there and Asensio now has got a great opportunity if he can pull this one back but instead he just makes a weird crappy attempt there 
So there it is. What a poor, poor ending to um, our season. Two pathetic draws in today's episode, guys. I do apologise. You know what I mean? Like these, the players just aren't on it. Like you know what I mean? As you can see, Brighton, not a single attempt, not a single attempt on our goal yet. You know, um, as you can see, Santos, their goalkeeper, made ten saves. You know, but it was just. It, <laughs> It was just poor shots, like, when it comes to it, like, you know, and, um, yeah, you give, like, some players, like, you know, a chance to, like, you know, like, to, to prove themselves and, and stuff, and all it's done is, like, highlighted the fact that, yeah, we need uh, some players that, that want to play for this club because there's a few players in here that, obviously, um, yeah, they, I think they need to be moved on because they just didn't show any sort of passion there whatsoever. Um, but it's great news is, I suppose, it's a little bit sort of subdued, isn't it, really, that we have gone the full season. Yes, we have managed to go the full season unbeaten, but what a, a drab way to do it. So how does it all finish? Well, it shows that Arsenal are into second spot because what happens in Man City? Man City lose to Tottenham. So Tottenham did get that win, but unfortunately for them, Manchester United beat a very poor Chelsea side who as you can see down in 14th and we're only 10 points away from actually relegation um, which is like such a poor start I'm, I'm sure Mr Roberto Mancini who is the manager at Chelsea will probably not be there next season I've got a feeling because that was just a poor season from them as you can see with us 98 points we didn't hit, crack the 100 points like um, with those two crappy draws like right at the end of our season um, we, we, we just yeah we should have done better but at the end of the day 30 wins eight draws no losses that's the big one yes no losses there whatsoever so it will be the two manchester clubs ourselves and arsenal in the champions league tottenham and everton obviously in the europa league for next season and west ham possibly might get something depending obviously on the result of the fa cup final and um, but that i will show you in the extra time video which will come up next you know what i mean like guys um, but there we are that is the end of our season and what a sort of the highs and the lows of it like the fact that great we've gone the whole season unbeaten but a little bit <laughs> daunting the, the fact that we ended with a nil nil draw um, but there we go guys and um, thank you as always um, for tuning in and if you want to tune in to obviously the extra time video which will go through all the other leagues sort of around like Europe you know some some other information and stuff regarding our players and things that I'm maybe talking about Obviously, some transfer targets. We know that M Mbappe is 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 one that I'm like trying to get across the line. I've had 170 million pound bid rejected. That's what I put in. Yeah, 170 million. And um, they want look the the the, the sort of like um, I don't know if it shows it here. Does it show it here? Uh, yeah, it's got it here. Du -du -du. Something. Where is it? 188 million is what. The sort of newspapers are kind of quoting, but PSG themselves have basically just said that they do not want to sell him. So I don't know. We might have to, uh, I don't know, maybe include player or something. Maybe, I don't know. Um, but we'll see on that one. Um, but <laughs> look, sack looms over Guardiola, Guardi well, Guardiola, I should say, like, I mean, um, it's still looming over Pep. Who knows about that one? But I've got a, I've got a, I've got a feeling that Mr. Roberto Mancini down here um, will be um, dismissed um, in the summer. But there we are, guys. Thank you again, like, so much. If you want, like I say, if you're, if you're interested in the extra time video, there won't be obviously any gameplay in that one. It's just literally just going over the season, but that will be what will be coming up next. And then obviously, we, we look forward to the, the second season and see if we can um, go on and obviously win Champions League, Premier League stuff like that again and um, that is what we're going to try and do like guys but it's good that we've got the Premier League, we've got the Carabao Cup we didn't get the FA Cup, we didn't get the Champions League but next season Champions League will become priority um, with obviously the Premier League um, for this size of the, of the club that we are thank you like I say guys and um, yeah stay safe out there and I'll catch you on the next one this is Dave from Moomonga Gaming signing off, cheers